Hi, this is Hayata Takashita. Uh, in the next few minutes, I want to go over using the salesforce.com web app. I'm running on an iPad in the Safari web browser. I am actually running this demo on the emulator version of an iPad that comes with the Apple software development kit. So you can imagine when I hover over a link and then click, that's similar to uh, tapping on the iPad screen. So the scenario is that I'm going to United Oil and Gas to close a deal, but I first want to check on the latest with this account by looking it up in salesforce.com. Then after the meeting, I want to update the opportunity. So let's get started. Here I am on the Home tab. Uh, I got here by clicking on a browser bookmark I created earlier. Uh, it takes me to the, the usual salesforce.com login page. I logged in and it takes me to the Home tab. Now, here is the appointment record. Click on that. It takes us to the event record. I'm going to tap on the opportunity. I tap once and it shows the hover. Tap again, shows the uh, record. Take a look at some information here. You can see that this is a generator or four generators for 150K. There's our activity. And then there are the contact roles for this opportunity. All basic stuff. Let's take a look at the account. I uh, know this account pretty well, so nothing really in the main detail. Here are my contacts. Uh, here are some opportunities. Uh, there's two actually, one for delivery, one for installation. Uh, let's take a look at cases. Here's one that pops right up. Something about performance issues. It's in working status. Uh, Avi was a person who filed it. And you know that Avi is a CFO, so this got pretty high up to be reported by the CFO. Let's take a look at the case. All right. uh, we can see that something about performance uh, issues uh, for two weeks. I need to work with Rodney. Looks like we found a solution. Take a look in there, see what it says. Uh, it's saying basically um, that performance can degrade when we start exceeding the capacity of the of the generator, and we should check the meter log. Okay, good information. Back up. See the notes or the case comments. We can see that uh, the rep uh, did find intermittent spikes in the meters, and that Rodney was able to find that one of the pumps had a short circuit in it. So now uh, the rep left a message for Avi. As per our policy, we don't close until we ask, and we're waiting to hear back. So it sounds like a pretty good job was done there. Right, let's go back to the account. Let's do another quick scan. And let's see, uh, there's a low open case out there, low priority open case, a few closed ones. Not seeing anything jump out at me uh, from that. So now I'm off to my meeting. Uh, sure enough, Avi mentions the problem that he reported. You know, and I tell him, you know, we're right on top of that. Uh, it turns out to be one of your pumps was having a problem with a short circuit. 
and it was causing the uh, capacity of the generator to be exceeded. Uh, it's been fixed. I'll wait back to you. When you get back to your office, you can check your voicemail. You have an update there. And uh, it'd be great if you could just let the uh, support person know that uh, you're satisfied. You know, and to that, he responded, uh, oh, you know, that's great. I'm glad you guys are on top of this stuff. Um, you know, it makes me feel better about this purchase. Okay. So now I'm done with my meeting. Things went great. I can uh, win this opportunity. So got over to the nearest hotspot and log into salesforce.com, and here I am back on the home tab. Now I know that uh, it's going to be at the top of my reading's recent items list, so I just tap there. Then I'm going to tap edit, change the stage to closed one, and hit save. Now things don't stop there. We have an automated workflow that creates a task called Begin Delivery Project. It gets assigned to uh, Mr. Smith, who is one of our delivery managers, and it tells him that uh, we should begin the delivery process. Right. I'm not done yet. Uh, I know I want to create a follow-up task. I'm going to backspace over what was copied and then put in uh, send thank you uh, to the support person. In the subject, put in another note, uh, something about uh, keeping the cases up to date. Um, before I save, I want to uh, put in a due date for myself. Now I can hit save. And I am done. So there's a demo of using the salesforce.com web app on an iPad in the Safari uh, web browser.